So you click on this video because you want to know what happens in MIPS or before you go to MIPS. Coming from the hotel to MIPS. So pretty much all you do is that you get a wake up call around 3.30, but I suggest you should wake up on your own at like 2.30 to make sure you have everything, double check and all that. Because once you leave, you leave, and if you get stuff, your recruiter is going to have to come back and get it for you. So I suggest you wake up like, let's say about 2.30. So you get everything ready. But anyways, you wake up at 3.30. Um, you go down and return in your room key card. Then after you return it in, you get a food voucher, breakfast voucher. Um, then at around 4 o'clock, the restaurant opens for y'all. And they serve you breakfast. Over here in Houston, the hotel for Club Bo, they served us some bacon, eggs, and some like diced potatoes it wasn't that good they certainly i mean the bacon tastes like high school bacon like the shit you bought in the cafeteria it didn't taste good um the drinks they got like orange juice apple juice water and maybe some coffee uh the last time i went to maps before this time last time they didn't serve no coffee but this time they did. It's kind of odd. I don't know why they did it like the first time I went there. But anyways, after you're done eating, they make a line in the hallway. Or I don't know how it is anywhere else, but here in Houston, you make a line in the hallway. And um, there's a line on the left for shippers and a line on the right for like non-shippers like people that are going to get their physicals at MIPS. But pretty much after that, they give you about 15 minutes for everyone to get ready in your line and for the drivers to arrive. As soon as the drivers arrive, y'all go into the bus, but they separate the shippers from the non-shippers. And then you arrive at the MIPS building around, I'll say five o'clock. You stand on top for about 15 minutes waiting for everyone to get down. They set you in line to keep you in order. Uh, here in Houston, the MEPS building, they have like a little ramp going up, a little ramp going up. We'll have people in, um, the little ramp going up is the shippers and the rest are on the bottom are non-shippers. So pretty much the shippers going first, then the non-shippers. They check your, you fill out a COVID release form. Pretty much you put in the time, your signature, then they take your temperature. And after that, um, after that, you give them the paper, then you walk in. Then you go to your leisure, your leisure, how do you say it? And you get the name tag. Everybody has to do it. Um, that's pretty much it for right now. But then for People that need a physical, um, you go in, go to leisure, then they'll send you to the control desk, which is like the desk you see when you exit off the elevator. And after all that, the control desk will like tell you to go to a room so they could give you a video, like a 10 minute long video about what they're going to do and what happens if like they touch you inappropriately. That's pretty much it. And then after that, you go through everything through MIPS. It's, it's all right, it's boring. It's just a lot of rush. I mean, the people when I got my physical at MIPS, they were kind of mean, I don't know why. But pretty much, you do everything. You do every, all the physical stuff, like you do it regularly how you would with the doctor. The only difference is that they check like your balls, your, your testicles. Then they like tell you to bend down and spread your cheeks. And that's what you got to do. I mean, they look at it, they don't touch you. They only did it for about like two seconds. Then they said, okay, pull up, pull up your underwear. I all right, I'm all good. But actually, before you go into the room and do that, you like, you get undressed all the way to like your 
undergarments. And then they make you do some like duck walks, um, tiptoes and all that stuff. Just to see if you have anything wrong with the bones and all that. But it's simple, easy, no need to get nervous. The questions, the questions, if, like if you see the doctor, it's the, if you see the doctor, the one that asks you all the questions about injuries and all that, just keep denying it. Um, but if, if you're lucky, and there's a lot of people, they won't be asking you a lot. Um, but if there isn't, they'll probably be intimid trying to intimidate you. And all that. But when I went, there was about, I'd say about 40 people that I was going through for uh, MEPS. So, since there was 40 people going to MEPS, um, what you call that? Since there was 40 people that was at MEPS, it didn't take that long. They asked me about 10 questions, that's it. Then they check your ears and all that. Then after that, you're good. Uh, they do your blood work and a urine test. That's it. They do eyesight, uh, color blindness, a hearing test. And I believe that's it. Then after you're done, you give like the control desk for the medical room, uh, your form, your papers, and all that. You just wait. Then if you pass and you don't get wavered, um, you get to pick your job. You get to pick your job and swear in that day. That's pretty much it. I'll see y'all.